Everybody, welcome to day 11, Deep Dive with Jared and Lau. Looks like we're back in the jungle, <laughs> back from traveling, I am anyway. So today is a great day, and I also feel like we can really help clear up some confusion. We're going to be talking about kind of water you need to be drinking. And this is a huge, huge thing that really genuinely affects our health. And I know that I have kind of like with resistance made my way into my well water and my <laughs> $3,000 Kangen filter. So first, can we just talk a little bit about, and, and we can get into the woo-woo a little bit, but I want to talk about at the bare minimum needing to get chlorine and fluoride and other chemicals out. So do you guys want to jump into that topic? Yeah. Well, for actually also for today, I, I put a link in the Facebook group on test your water. So this is something oh, where your zip code and it will throw all the studies of what your water really has. Chemicals, toxins, and like the percentage above of what's safe. Yeah. So you can check your Well, own that's a whole nother topic there. Yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of like FDA and other yeah. agencies that are supposed to manage that. And it's like, we've deemed like, basically, if it doesn't kill you, that it's a safe level. So all I would say is if something has been recommended to be safe, still continue down that yeah. research path because it's it's like death by paper cut. <laughs> yeah. And I also feel like this entire challenge, you know, we're not here on behalf of brands or any type of agenda. We're here to kind of say, this is a rabbit hole that you can go down on your own. And I actually think it's better when people can find things in their price range find things that work for their lifestyle or if they have to go to work or if they have kids or like all of those things influence what type of drinking water we would would choose. So the big ones you mentioned chlori chloride chloride and, and, and chlorine. Yeah, without considering chloride and chlorine yeah. and other stuff, but the idea is that you realize what are you drinking and because of that you have to get a water filter that like yes or yes. It's not an expense. <laughs> Is an investment for your health. So I think it's absolutely necessary nowadays because not everybody has the opportunity to have well water or spring water. So I was going to say, you guys know I have an Amazon shop that I just try to curate when we do these things. There, uh, There's a link in your email today. And I put a couple of water filters, one that I had in my apartment in Tamarindo, and then some cheaper ones that you could do it in a bottle. And then always we can go the full Monty. So I want to talk a little bit about fluoride because my whole thing, I, I just don't understand how we all believed the great life. <laughs> like um, fluoride doesn't do anything for our teeth and what it actually does is calcify our pineal glands which is anybody who's a little bit down the woo-woo path and even if you're not pineal gland is very important for regulating the body but it's also considered our third eye so i don't want to run down a conspiracy trail but i do think it's important to i don't know anytime i see fluoride i'm just like what the hell <laughs> yeah. i think the whole idea with this challenge as well in like with what you provide, Ashley, to your, your community is it's not, the idea isn't to spoon feed you, it's to empower you to take responsibility and, and start to investigate and look at these things on your own. So question us, question everything that we're saying, like That's find right. you, do your own research and come up with your own conclusions. But I think with the fluoride, as far as like the, where it comes from and how it became introduced into the mainstream, there's a lot of interesting stories out there, but just do a search and find and see what you find and then come see up what with resonates. Yeah, but, totally. Um, and what about chlorine? I mean, I think at the end of the day, at least just in my ecosphere, people are like, I'm not ever even going to get in a pool with chlorine, much less drink it. And I know here in Costa Rica, where I live, we have well water and somebody was making the suggestion to put chlorine in it. And everybody was like, no, 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 no. I mean, it's a very harsh chemical. So no, we don't want you to have bacteria, but it's like two wrongs don't make a right. Exactly. There are other ways of also drinking uh, 
have a high quality water but that's like the easy solution you know let's just put chlorine the thing is that's gonna disrupt all your gut flora as well so and gut flora you guys means your microbiome is out of balance which means your entire body is going to go out of balance sometimes i feel like god has a human pin cushion called ashley black and gives me these things because he knows that i'm gonna go talk about it go exploring and never accept that fate but having your gut flora and your microbiome off will jack you up it was i think it was being more sick than having a bone infection for me for the two three years that i struggled with that so anyway let's not mess with the gut flora <laughs> all right let's talk a little bit about oh sorry jared go ahead i was gonna say it's real similar real similar to what we talked about earlier with the pesticides and chemicals on food like if they're adding chemicals to the water it's something to look at like okay do i really want to put this in my body and how can i get rid of those things and i know you've got something to talk about but we can't talk about water or food and not talk about all the people that constantly have this thing right next to their water that they're drinking. Oh, so, so true. Chaotic energy as well. And how, as you watched the other day, water has memory. We can't talk about water and not bring awareness to always having the device that has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all these other Wi-Fi. Right. People, I think we we look at Wi-Fi and it's like it's something mystical, <laughs> you know, and it's like these are real frequencies that can permeate uh, structures, including our water and also including our body. That's a great point. I think also in the challenge, we have a day that we go into basically all all of our plugins. So that's a whole nother subject. But what I just think is fascinating, and if people watch the documentary, they really introduce that concept of structured water. So tell us the difference between, let's just say you have a filter and you get nice, clean, no chlorine, no fluoride, it's alkaline, you're loving yourself. What's the difference between that and really taking it to the next level to structured? I think that also part of it is to watch the documentary you know because we <laughs> right. try to explain it in a short in a few minutes is complicated but pretty much is the molecular structure of your water how it would be best absorbed by the cells and how it will properly hydrate your body empower yourself read the book watch the documentary but also understand the molecules of the water can be in a disposition that right. can definitely help to get the proper hydration of your body. Correct. And I, I look at it in a simple, everybody knows water is H2O, but that does, it's not like it lines up like this. It could line up like this or line up like that. And that's the difference in structured in the most baby way, but it hugely makes a difference because you have to remember, I think of it like avatar, right? <laughs> you know, like here's our body and here's our water and we want to have everything in harmony and water is just such a huge piece without going completely crazy. Also, fascia is filled with water, not all of it, but the the more gelatinous, more liquid forms. And I remember Jared and Lau do, since the gong behind them, <laughs> they do sound healing. And one of the first things y'all showed me was a bowl of water and a you know, sound bowl of water and you can see it bubbling. And it's like, of course, it's, of course you can excite the tissue in the body. Of course you can raise the vibration in the body that way. So imagine if every bit of water that you put into your mouth was not only clean, but also structured. Life. That would resonate and avatar plug in to natural body. Also really simple to understand it. Structure water is water that it's alive. Water that it's alive is a water that in nature is moving. It's in the streams, it's in the river, it's flowing through the rocks. This is the water that really has the full structure, like the full potential of hydration in our body because it's water that it's alive. Well, and, and I'm going to add one super woo-woo thing to it being alive. And it, this is my belief. Please go research it. But I feel that water is information and we want to put good, positive information in into our body to communicate at an energetic level that we haven't quantified with science, but I think it's super important. So, all right, you guys, that's day 11. Lots to say about water. If you missed the documentary, go back and look at that. Go check out my Amazon page and also research Pangum water. That's what I'm personally doing. So you don't have to leave a note in the comments. <laughs> Final thoughts, guys? I, I would say just what Jared said is extremely important. What this structure 
or this chaos create, creates chaos, chaos in chaos. your mm -hmm. water is the cell phone in your table when you eat or the cell phone in your purse when you have your water bottle in there or your gym bag bottle cell phone now it comes down to cellular health again day one we're talking about cellular health these are things that help either create harmony and health or it helps create disease so you choose <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap all right. Stick around for day 12, where we're going to talk about exercise and movement and what we really need to be doing to keep all of our cells and our fascia healthy. We'll see yeah. you there tomorrow. <laughs> Move it or lose it. <laughs>